There are moments which tend to stay with us from our youth. Hopefully, they're happy moments. Sometimes they're sad moments, sometimes even traumatic moments. And with all of those moments, there are also the embarrassing moments. I remember probably around the age of 10 or 11, when I had said something to someone in the shul where I grew up in, and I I didn't even realize that it may have been embarrassing for me to say what I said to that person. And it was someone else who came over to me and said, you know, you really shouldn't say that to someone else. And I was, of course, embarrassed, but I learned an important lesson. The next time I went to shul, though, I was scared. I was really hesitant. I was embarrassed to even say good Shabbos to the person who I had apparently embarrassed or insulted. And nevertheless, I went ahead and I did it. And when I did it, the person was so gracious, they pretended as if nothing had ever happened. And they were happy to see me, and I still remember the smile on their face as they shook my hand. B'nai Yisrael, the Jewish people, experienced last week the tochacha, the rebuke, very, very difficult words that Hashem said would come upon the Jewish people if they swayed, if they moved away from the proper derech, from the proper path. And Chazal tell us the beginning of our parsha this week, Atem Nitzavim Hayom Kulchem, that Moshe Rabbeinu saw that the people's faces were so green. People were literally shocked at what they heard, and they were embarrassed, and they thought, how could we even stand? How could we even be able to, to, to be productive? We're just in fear, we're in shock. And Moshe Rabbeinu says, no, 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 listen. Don't be embarrassed, don't be ashamed, don't be scared. Hashem wants you. Hashem wants you to be present. Hashem wants you to, to serve Him. And Hashem has the confidence in knowing that you can go in the right path. And so He says, Nitzavim, you're worthy, you're worthy of standing in front of Hashem. You're still Hashem's children. Don't ever forget that. Here we are. Rosh Hashanah is very close, coming up. We're on the cusp of a new year. For many of us, this year, this past year, has been difficult. With it, there have been many mistakes that we all have made, so much so that some of those mistakes are very embarrassing. And we're going to stand in front of Hashem on Rosh Hashanah and present ourselves. And we might feel embarrassed. And part of tshuva is to feel a certain sense of shame, of embarrassment for the mistakes that we have made. But when we do so, we recognize that Hashem looks at us with compassion as a father would look at their child, even knowing the child did something wrong, but still have this extraordinary love for that child. And so too, HaKadosh Baruch Hu waits, waits for us to be present in front of Him. And with that hope, as we stand in front of him, that he blesses us with compassion for a better year than the one we had, and that he gives us bracha and all that we ask for, so that this coming year we can learn from the mistakes of the past and become better servants of him and better children to our father and to all of our millions of siblings that we have among our people. May we be zochet to be written in the book of life, Wishing everyone a ksiva v'chasim matova, a good gebench dior, and may Hashem listen and accept all of our tefilos birachamim with mercy and with compassion. Thank you for listening, and have a good Shabbos, and a ksiva v'chasim matova.